We're making the stovetop potpourri bags. All right, we're working on daddy's bags to work. So 40 bags, we're doing oranges first. We have the cinnamon sticks, the whole cloves, the rosemary, and all the cranberries. So here we go. Ooh. Well, here they all are. Um, we put them in a box that's easy to carry and left them in the garage last night to keep nice and cold. So Derek is off to work to go pass these out. That is his holiday gift to his coworkers. All right, I want to make some stovetop potpourri. So I have a bag in here. It's got the oranges, the rosemary, the cinnamon, the clove, and the cranberries. So I add two cups of water to this, and then I just simmer on low, and the house is gonna smell amazing. Oh my goodness, this smells amazing. You gotta make yourself some. Seriously, the house smells so good. So Shaylee is helping mommy get gift bags for our cousins back east and for our cousins that are coming over to the party tonight. And what did you wanna show me, Shaylee? You like that necklace? Yeah, I want It lights it. up. So I am getting their stockings filled and then the little treat bags for the cousins that are coming over tonight. Okay, all the cousins' little gift bags are wrapped and done. Um, these are just fun little like 97 cent things that I got from Walmart. There's, there's candy, there's word search books and pens. Some of them have glowing necklaces and candy. Some have Pez. Um, but I just went over to the 97 cent section at Walmart and yeah, that's what I did. So we've got little goodie bags for all of the little cousins. So a lot of you guys have been asking me what tea have I been drinking lately and I've been drinking from Tivana the white chocolate peppermint and it is so good. So I have it steeping, it is ready to go, I'm going to pour it into my cup but oh, I'm telling you, you put your cup underneath it and you press down and it releases the tea. Can you hear that? See it going down? And bam, it's in the cup. See that going down? How cool is that? It's so cool. That's like the coolest thing about it. And so, oh, this white peppermint, this white chocolate peppermint is amazing. Oh. It is my favorite. I'm trying out a new glaze for the crock pot ham. I'm gonna do it a little differently tonight for the party. So I have half a cup of apple jelly melting in here. And then I'm gonna add a fourth a cup of Dijon mustard. And now I'm adding in the third of three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Let me get that whisked in here. And now I'm gonna go grab uh, some seasonings. Okay, now I'm gonna be adding in a half a teaspoon of garlic powder and ground ginger. I already have a fourth a cup of brown sugar at the bottom of the crock pot. Now I'm gonna take this glaze and get it into the layers of the spiral ham, and then I'm gonna put fresh rosemary sprigs um, in it, and then put the cover on and let it cook for four to five hours, and we're gonna have yummy, delicious ham. I'm excited to try this recipe. On the pin, I'll leave it below. People are loving it, so I'm gonna give this one a shot. Okay, this is a big ham, so I put aluminum foil over it, tighten it as best as I could, put the cover on. That is going. All right, I'm working on the Italian Christmas cookies, lemon flavored. Right now I'm working on the almond flavored pizzelles. I think I'm done, now I'm gonna work on the anise ones. But, dealing with the glaze of the ham, I burnt a batch. <laughs> So I'm gonna get rid of this one and just finish off what I have left. Okay, I'm starting to clean up the mess. This is the last of the cookies that are drying that I frosted. So we have almond, we have um, anise, and then the lemon Italian Christmas cookies. And here are the other ones. They're gonna just store in here. Oh, these are so good, they're so addicting. Okay, I'm going to be starting on a dip that I've never made before that I had at Jordan's house the other night and it was so good. It's called Cranberry Jalapeno Cream Cheese Dip. Okay, you're going to need 12 ounces of fresh cranberries, 4 to 5 green onions chopped, 1 fourth cup of fresh cilantro chopped, 1 jalapeno pepper seeded and finely diced, a cup of sugar, more or less to taste. Um, we're gonna need cumin, 
fresh lemon juice, salt, two packages of cream cheese softened. Yeah, so I'm gonna get making this. I'll take you along, but I need to hurry up and get this done. All right, I chopped up the cranberries in this thing that I have. Ah, I have to do it in sections, so that's one section, and here's another, because this is small. So I'm gonna put this in a bowl and add the rest and finish chopping up the cranberries first. Okay, there's all the cranberries. Now I'm gonna chop up my cilantro and my green onion and my jalapeno and get it in here. So I have my cranberries, cilantro, green onion, and jalapeno. Now I'm gonna add the sugar, the lemon juice, and the cumin. Okay, I added a half a teaspoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of cumin, a cup of sugar, and now I'm gonna wrap this up and put it in the fridge until we are ready. Guests will be here soon, but I should've, it's better if this is refrigerated longer, so I'm gonna just get it in the fridge. I'm putting the cream cheese out on platters because I want it to stay soft, but I wanna get this in the fridge until we're ready. Okay, I have a cheese ball out, just in case if no one brings one, I have one. I have some pita chips, some wheat thins, some crackers. There's my cream cheese getting to room temperature, and then when I'm ready to serve it, I'll put the cranberry dip right over that. much fun it was so great to see everybody we don't get to see each other very often and it was so nice we facetimed my mom because today is her birthday happy birthday ma it was lots of fun so right now I'm just cleaning up bagging up some food and I'm gonna go get my apron on finish some dishes and hit the hay so with the leftover ham bone, we're gonna have split pea soup, and I think I'll make that Sunday. Cause tomorrow we have plans already. I bagged up the ham bone, the green beans, I sauteed some green beans, got those put away. So I'm just gonna finish packing up the crackers, put away the cranberry dip, everyone loved it. It was a hit. So there's so many pins of this on Pinterest, you guys. Um, so I'll leave. I'll try to find the one that I use, but the recipe called for cumin, and some of the recipes I found didn't, and I was so nervous to put the salt and the cumin in, but for some reason, that combination took the bitterness out. I don't know what it was, but it just rounded it off beautifully, so this was a hit, and I'm going to bag it up because I have a feeling that that is going to be my lunch tomorrow. It was so good. There is a cat. There's a cat, a stray cat, sitting on our chair. Yeah, it's so On our cute. jet. And we're just saying hello to him or her. And but she say hello to me because she likes me. Aw. And she so, said, she said. Look at that face. And she said, pet me, Shaylee. Oh, pet no. Pet me, Shaylee. We're definitely not going to pet this cat. Why? Because it's a stray. It will. So, say it hello. It will scratch you. It will scratch you. I don't know. But say Hi. It was a cute day. I want to pet you and hide. So yeah, we're just saying hello to the kitty. I'm just doing dishes and we're saying hello to the kitty. Yeah, I really love kitties. <laughs> Look at that face. Look at those eyes. He's just chilling. Yeah, in a chair. Hello, friends. It is Saturday night and Derek and I are going on a triple, no, quadruple date. Oh my gosh, it is seriously cold here it's like 39 degrees and um, this is the coat that I got with Denise it's long it's got a big hood you guys were asking me did you get a coat I said just small head it's huge on me but if I just place it like that it's good <laughs> so it's big and hopefully it's warm I will find out tonight so we're heading to Salt Lake City for a quadruple date 
for the ghost tours of Salt Lake City. Us girls had so much fun and we wanted to bring the men along the next time we went and did it. And so yeah, so tonight is the night. So let's go get spooked. Are you ready, Derek? I am. How are you all bundled up in the car with the heat on? Because I, I run cold. I'm not hot like you are. I am hot. That is true. Where's your coat? In the back. See, I don't get this. He always puts his coat in the back of the car <coughs> instead of just getting into the car with his coat on. Because it's hot. It's climate controlled in here. I don't know how he does that. I don't wear my coat in the house. All right, come join us on the ghost tours. and the balsamic dressing. Mix it together with your bread and you will be a happy lady. Okay, I didn't share my food, I was naughty, but I am gonna share with you guys the best cheesecake at the Cheesecake Factory and it's the lemon meringue. Oh, look at that. The best cheesecake. 